I believe in my heart that this is the best school in the nation. By the end of this year, you're going to be leaders. You all are the future of this place. Whitney Young is loved because everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to attend what is perceived as the best. It's like one big movement. It's a competition to do well. We have 27 different advanced placement courses. Over 100 clubs. We're all high achieving students while competing for you know, good colleges and the best teams. The building is buzzing with artists of various kinds. Students find their niche, and once they have their niche, they blossom. This year we have the number one basketball player in the country, Jalil Okafor. Here comes Whitney Young. In two years, he'll be playing basketball as a professional. And today he walks through the halls of Whitney Young as just a regular student. Excellence is expected across the board here, both sports and academics. The high expectations comes from our history, from a school that was absolutely ahead of its time. In the 70s, Chicago was a very, very segregated city. A lot of the neighborhood schools were segregated as well. The first Whitney Young principal, Mr. Dawson, he had this vision of kids and faculty of different races, different ethnicity, and that really, really excited me. The neighborhood where the school was built had been decimated by riots. The first time I drove past, I said, they're gonna put a school here? You could just walk two blocks over and pay for a cheap hooker. We had to have a strong program winners at the science fair at the academic decathlon to convince parents to send their children here. They built a fully integrated school that 38 years later has sustained the test of time. My name is Caleb and I am applying to Whitney Young. Even in a very good school, you may not be getting the intellectual challenge that you might be ready for. My son is an exceptional learner, and when we look in our immediate neighborhood, I don't see any options for him. Here at Whitney Young, we are not afraid of the word gifted. Whitney Young will put him in a great place so that he can have the very best future. This is an amazing place. These are my babies. I look good for having 2,200 students. Just a little bit of pouch, but it's okay. These are very coveted seats. People are doing everything they possibly can to get in. There is a really, really small chance that you will get into Whitney Young. The cutoff was like 875 out of 900, and that's crazy. So much hope lost if you could 1B. What's unfair about the system is not how hard it is to get in. The problem is that these opportunities aren't available to everybody who wants them. On the south side where I live, there is a lot of violence. A lot of my friends became pregnant at a young age. Some of the guys became gangbangers. When you come from such a low-income neighborhood, Education is definitely my ticket out. Here at Whitney Young, we still deal with poverty. We still deal with students who are coming from very violent neighborhoods. They know that this school is an oasis for them. We are having more issues with mental health for our students this year than ever. The first day that you enter here, you have to hit the ground running. Most students are able to adapt, but it sometimes becomes overwhelming. We grew up being the smartest kids in our classes. Get thrown into this environment with all these other smartest kids. It's not so clear anymore. This idea of 
competition, where does it ever stop? There are 500 people lined up out there to take your place. What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that you'd like to become? As parents, it's our job to make sure that they get there. The margin of error is this thin. It could be one silly mistake that gets you out of Whitney Young. The majority of the parents' goal is to get their child into top tier schools. And so the pressure is on for me as a principal to get that child to the college of their choice. Within Whitney Young, we allow learning to happen in so many different ways. And that's what's wonderful. I want every student to know that every other student next to them had to fight to get into that seat.